Let's make a sticky note dashboard. Hey guys, it's Cecilia. Welcome to Creatively Gracious. Thanks so much for stopping by. I hope you guys are all doing well. So today we're going to be making a sticky note dashboard. This is the one I had and I put it back in my May planner setup and it's been useful but as you can see the sticky notes are falling off and i wanted to make a new one so i figured i would bring you guys along and share how i create this for my planner so a couple of things that you'll need you're going to need your punch and with the materials that we're going to be using a happy planner punch may get jammed so i would try that at your own risk but i have the we are memory keepers punch you will need a trimmer. You can use scissors, but I like to use a trimmer. You will need some adhesive tape. And of course you're gonna need your sticky notes. So I have all kinds of different sticky notes here. And a couple of things that you can use for this project. You could use the, oh, here's some more sticky notes. Let me get those out of the way. You can use a chopping mat. They do have colored ones. I don't know if they're still available, but these are some that I had picked up a while back. So they have the clear ones and the colored ones. Let me get those out of the way. You can also use these folders from the Dollar Tree. So another thing that gave me this idea is I have been cleaning my craft room, planner room, and I'm coming across all the stuff that's in here. And I found these folders and these would be perfect for a, a sticky note dashboard. And another reason I wanted to do this video right now is because in about a month or so, you're going to start seeing all the back to school stuff. And Dollar Tree does have a lot of these cute folders throughout the year, but during school time, you're going to find a lot of cute ones. So that's another reason I wanted to do this because that's going to happen here soon. You're going to start seeing that product fill up the Dollar Tree really soon. So you could use these type of folders. I'm gonna move those out of the way. You can also use these type of folders. These are just regular folders. These are not gonna be as sturdy. So if you do use these, what I would recommend is maybe adhering two of the pages together, then you would have a more sturdy dashboard. But these are just some different ones. Look at this weird one that I had in my stash. I don't know how it's showing up on camera, but this is a really weird one. And you could actually use this too for a dashboard. And then I have this one here, make your dreams happen. So, and then there's one other thing that you could possibly use from the Dollar Tree and they are these little notebooks. So this is a very flexible material and, and they come in different prints, really cute prints. So you could always use this as well. You can make you can even make a cover for your planner from these, these notebooks because look at how big they are. They're big and sturdy. So I don't know, I may use this one for mine, but I also wanted to show you guys how to make one using the file folder because this one has a pocket and you would be able to use this pocket too. So let's go ahead, maybe I'll make the pocket one first. And usually the way I do this is I just take a dashboard from the Happy Planner, whether it's a big or a classic. In this case, I'm using a classic one. And this is the size of dashboard that I like to make my uh, sticky note dashboards. And let's see here, I'm gonna try to give you the exact measurements in case you don't have one. But if you have one, just use the, the dashboard as a template. I'm sure a lot of us have them in our stash. So this is right at seven, so seven inches wide. And then with the tab, you wanna measure with the tab. So without the tab, it's nine and, ooh, nine and a quarter. Yeah, without the tab, it's nine and a quarter. And then with the tab, it's, let's see, it's about nine and, nine and five eighths is what it is with the tab. So you could measure it like that. That's the way I like to do it. So let's go ahead and use this one here. And we're gonna make a sticky note dashboard. The first thing I'm gonna do is cut it right down the middle. And the thing is you could actually make two. Actually, I'm gonna do it the other way. So let's go ahead and cut it right down the middle. And with these, you could actually make two. Depending on the size, you can probably make more. 
but because I'm going to make the bigger size dashboard, I'm going to make one out of this and show you guys how you can do that. And you don't even have to cut it down the middle, but I'm going to do that just to make it easier for myself here. Oops. I moved it. Okay, so there's that. And what I was mentioning about these pockets is you can actually use the pocket. Let's see if I can take this off pretty easy. Oh yeah, it comes off pretty easily. Whoops, I thought pretty easily. Okay, well, we'll just leave that on there. I'll take this off later. So now we're going to measure it. The width is seven. So if we want to keep this pocket, we can keep the pocket and make it a dual purpose. Oh, I did this wrong. Uh, make it a dual. So we're just going to cut this at seven. Okay. And I'm going to cut from back here because my trimmer needs a new blade and I have not bought one yet. Okay. So see, now you still have the pocket there and we are going to cut it. I'm going to go ahead and measure this so I don't mess it up. So I'm going to go ahead and trim it right about here. That tab might be a little bit bigger. And I'm going to trim this way because with this material, it does tend to move if you go this way. That's why I'm pushing it up against. And I hope I had that straight. I think I did. So there you have that. And now if you wanted, to, oh, I forgot to mention, you'll need a, a corner rounder to round the corners if you want to round the corners. But we're not going to do that yet because we still have to cut the tab off. So now what I'm going to do is you can see it, it is a little bit bigger, but that's okay. I'm okay with that. Um, I'm just going to mark it with the pencil. I had to make sure I was recording because I forgot if I put the, if I had hit the record button. Um, okay. So here we go. Let's mark this with the pencil and whoops. And if you want to, you can paper clip it. So it stays in place. And actually, I'm not going to cut the top because I it's okay if it's a little bit bigger for me. So I'm just going to cut it with my scissors. I'm going to use these little small scissors. I'm just going to cut around this with the scissors and then I'll probably trim the rest with the paper trimmer. So that I don't cut too close to that. Okay. So now I'm just going to cut this here right at the line. And we're not going to go all the way. And you have to be leery as to how your paper trimmer cuts because you don't want to get too close to it. So there's that. So I'm going to just come back in with the scissors because I don't want to come too close to that. And I think mine moved a little bit. Yeah, it did move. It slid because that thing is crooked. But that's okay. We can work around it. You could just trim it up and fix it as you as you need to. Oh, see, I went too far there. Did you see that? I was trying not to cut into the other side of the paper, but I did do that there. And it happens. So... It's not straight and I can fix that if I wanted to. So I'm just going to go ahead and trim this up just a little bit. It's because when I put it in there, my, I think my trimmer moved the, the material. So that's a little bit better. And as you can see, this side is a little more rounder, more like, more like the um, Happy Planner one than this one. So I need to round this off just a little bit. Okay, so there's the tab. And it doesn't look bad. This one is still a little bit off. Let's see if I can fix it. I'm going to try to fix it because it, it is uh, a little bit crooked. And it's because I came this way. Like I said, my blade is a little bit, 
is a little bit um, dull. Okay. Okay, so there's that. Now we're just going to take the punch and we're going to punch the corners. Oh, this one, uh, this one has to go this way. Well, maybe not. We'll see. We're going to get it in there as close as we can. So then now you have the dashboard here. And let me go ahead and move this out of the way. So this is the one with the pocket. So you actually get two in one. You get a sticky note dashboard and, and, a, and a pocket back here. And if you wanted to, you can round this corner out and look at how cute that is. And of course, it's not going to hold um, anything big, but it will hold something. So we'll come back in just a minute just to uh, put the sticky notes on here. But what I wanted to mention is if you wanted to cut this up too, you do it the same way. You're just going to have to cut it off of the, off of the rings here before before you you know measure it in that i'm not going to do that at that at this time because it is the same process but i just wanted to give you an idea and the reason i didn't do this one i do like this one i probably will make it my dashboard but i wanted to show you guys how this works as a sticky note dashboard and as a little folder so that let's go ahead and put this one together and i'm going to move everything else out of the way And this one actually is really cute because I live in Arizona and we have all the cacti. So I think I'll leave that for mine. And let's see how this is in comparison. So yeah, um, this one doesn't have rounded corners. You see mine's just a little bit bigger. I can cut that if I needed to. But yeah, it works perfect. So that's the comparison. And Let's go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and get this off real quick, and then I'll be back to to put the sticky notes on. Okay, so I took the sticky part off, and before I put the sticky notes on, I, I'm going to punch this using this We Are Memory Keepers punch. So I'm going to get it exactly here, and I'm going to punch... I'm going to punch one here in the the second one here oh actually that's not how i do it usually what i do is i'll line it up this way so that i don't punch the happy planner punch so then just hold it tight and then just give it a punch right in the middle and then you could use that one as a guide and then i'll turn it around to punch the other side so there we have the punch guide and see how easy this punch works and that's why i mentioned i don't know if if you have the happy planner punch if it would if it would do this great of a job i had to empty my little punch hole there because i think it was too full so let's try this one again oh and what I was going to say, you have to be careful when you're punching this because you want to make sure that you got, that the back is in line. See, there's that. It punched it right there. It worked, but make sure you're holding that flat as well. And when you get to the, the folder part, it is a little bit more tough, but it still punches. You just got to punch really hard there. So see, you, you still have this little thing that gets stuck here. Well, mine is, I, mine may need to be sharpened and I don't even know, I haven't sharpened it, so I don't know if you can. But if anything else, you could just cut this off, just turn it and it comes right off. So there's that and see how easy that was with this punch. So now we're just going to put our sticky notes on it and here's where the adhesive comes in. Now I need to get all these sticky notes back over here. So let's see which ones. I'm gonna pull these back over and take them off of here. Some of them need to, I don't have too many of, of, on these little sticky note things. That's why I want to use them in, 
and get use out of them so that I could, whoops, that's the wrong way, I think. Yeah, so that I can be done with them. And then now you're just going to put these on here. And yes, you're gonna cover the color, the, the pretty print, but it still looks, you can still see it through the background. So I think that's what makes it really pretty as well. Now that one I put too high. And then you just fit as many as you can on the dashboard. Maybe I'll put some different ones up there. And it doesn't matter that they're not straight because it's just going to be your own little sticky note dashboard. And you can put as many as you want on here. Like I have a lot on this one here. But I don't know if I'll put that many on this one. I could have separated these out so that I don't cover all the cute decor on here. So you see, you can put as many as you'd like. I'm going to set this one over here. And this is just a great way to hold your sticky notes in your planner. I know that I had not been putting mine in, and then last month I kept reaching for them. And I didn't have them. I didn't have them in there. So that's why I decided to put them in for May, and I decided to switch it up a little bit. And I think it came out really cute. And you can put different sizes. So if you have a variety of sticky notes, you can just add the sizes according to your needs. So we'll add this one over here. We do cover, you know, some of the cute elements of the background, but it works. And then maybe I will bring some of these small ones in because I do reach for these as well. And again, you just put as many as you'd like. You don't have to fill it up. I do wish I would have moved these a little bit more. Maybe I can move, let's see if I can pick this one up and maybe put it down here. So they're not so close. Yeah, I think that works. I think I'm gonna move this one over just a tad bit. And you can pick them up and then the adhesive, just you can just clean it up if you want to do that. See? And then we'll just add maybe one or two more. Maybe I'll add this today one here. Maybe I'll set that one down here with this. Like that. Well, it's probably not straight, but that's okay. And then look how cute that is. It's just, let me pull this one off. This one got, this one's a little dirty. I don't know how it got dirty. But again, you can put as many as you'd like on there. Some of these are almost empty, so I will have to switch them out here soon. But it actually works out cute. And this one too is messed up. We're going to take that one out. But it does come out really cute when you put these together. Maybe I'll put another green one in here. I have a lot of green. And I'll set that one down here. And again, you could just put them wherever you'd like. And then now I'll just put, this one did have a label. So I'll just make a label for it. And I will put it in my planner. Oh, I didn't bring my planner. Let me grab my planner so you could see how it looks. Okay, so I got my planner here. Let's go ahead and put this in here and see how it looks. We're going to go all the way to the back here. Whoops, I got sticky notes all over me. And we are going to plug it in here. And look how cute. Look how cute that turned out. And now you have a two-in-one. So now I have a folder back here. And then you can put some die cuts in here. You can put stickers. So that actually works out really well because you get a two for one. You get a post-it note dashboard, and then you get a folder on the other side. So again, I just wanted to share this idea with you guys because this is just a cute way to make a sticky note dashboard. 
and you'll have a cute design in the background instead of it being plain like this. I mean, you could you, you could always use that, but I thought it was cute to have a cute design in the back and just make um, make a dashboard for your sticky notes and then in, also have a pocket folder in the back of it. So it works out great. You could also use cardstock to make these, but you would have to double up the cardstock because it wouldn't be thick enough but I have seen people do that as well. I just figured that these poly folders that Dollar Tree has and all the poly elements like the notebooks and that, that you could cut up and use would be great for this type of project. And they always have really cute designs. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you got some inspiration from it to make your own sticky note dashboard slash folder and uh, let me know in the comments if you decide to make one and also let me know what cute designs you're finding at the dollar tree because they always have some cute designs in, in these poly folders and notebooks so thanks so much for watching stay creative be gracious and i will share again with you soon